Here is the view from the sky of the tremendous debris flow in Mapleton that came down very close to homes last night. It was from the burn scar of the Esther Hollow fire, which happened last September. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph spoke with both the fire department as well as residents about the incredible planning that wound up saving their homes. You could see how wide that debris flow coming off of the mountain really was. In fact, I'm standing pretty much up to my ankles in mud right now. All of this flowing directly towards houses. But thanks to some pre-planning and some good luck, all of those houses are okay today. It's interesting because so many people are play, praying for rain. And, and we right here didn't want rain. The cleanup is on along Quiet Meadow Lane because yeah, we wanted the rain to come, but we didn't want it on our hillsides. Last September's Esther Hollow fire left a scar with the potential for flooding. So about seven o'clock, we got our first phone call from the National Weather Service. Months of planning had led to this. He said evacuate. And so we, we did an Everbridge alert. We have a group me with um, 20 residents, the most high risk residents um, that we put out a group me and then we went door to door with the police and fire department. Chief Glasgow with the Mapleton Fire Department had built a relationship with every single resident in this community, but it's more than that. He had a plan to make sure their homes weren't lost. Four community sandbag events built over 15,000 sandbags. Amazingly, all the mud and the dirt took the path they wanted it to. Most of the hard work by the community to sandbag, it worked. It, it diverted most of the flow. And it was especially good for this home in particular. One of the houses um, had the potential to have nine feet of mud hit it. We got a text last night from a friend who's on the uh, on the Mapleton Ambulance. The home of the Bears. Her text said the sandbags worked. While Mike was home, his wife was boarding a plane, not knowing the entire time if their home was still there. When she landed, she read that text and it just made her cry. While no damage was done, it's a lot of mud to clean up. And this is a, a two to three year flood risk that we have, so it's not over today. But for those like the Bears, they're just thankful for everyone who has done the work to help. And there's been so much work that's happened in order to protect our homes. At this point, I just feel like we've done everything that can be done. And you can see all of this mud is going to take a lot of effort to clean up at this point. But the good news is the Mapleton City Fire Department says this was a good dry run to see what worked and what didn't work and make sure next time is even better. In Mapleton, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News.